Hi, I'm Rick Crane of Angler's Artistry, and I'm gonna show you how to use a wonderful product by Innovative Polymers. We're gonna use a product called IE3025 to create this cold cast bronze prehistoric 60 million year old turtle. Let's take a closer look. A little overview of the products that we're gonna be using to create a 40 million year old turtle fossil. Here's our mold. Whenever you're working with the urethanes, you want to wear gloves um, just for safety reasons more than anything else. And plus, sometimes the urethanes can get a little messy. We're going to work with some dyes. So um, this is our mold. This is a silicone mold. And we're going to use a little bit of bronze powder. And we're going to create a cold cast bronze here for you. I'm just going to take a little brush and I'm going to apply the bronze over the surface of this silicone mold and this is just to get a little distribution here before we gather up the excess the bronze powder is quite heavy and as long as you get it into all the little nooks and the crannies um, it has a pretty great ability to stay put Now what we're going to do now is we're going to gather up our excess and you can do that just by gently shaking it until it gathers up into one corner. And then we're just going to put the remainder back into a cup to be reused for another project. And that little surface amount that you have there is more than plenty. And if you get a little excess, you can kind of move it around and create little swirls or patterns that just adds that much more to it. I'm going to take a little bit of sealer now. And just any, any sealer. I have a matte clear here. It doesn't really matter which sealer that you're going to use. And I'm just going to lightly cover this surface just to, just to help weigh down that bronze powder before we put our material on there. Now we're going to take our scale, we're going to turn it on, put our container on here. We want to make sure that it zeroes out, and if it doesn't, you can hit the tear button on your scale. We're going to take part A of our Innovative Polymers 3025. This is just a little container that I have. And you're going to pour the appropriate amount of the 3025. We like to use the 3025 to do projects such as this cold cast bronze because it, it has a very semi-clear translucency to it and it accepts the dyes very well where 3030 um, will turn white when it cures. So this is a, a good product. This is our B, but it's a, yeah, it's a good product for this type of application for a project. 3025 um, has great flexorol ability, so you can get some flex out of it. Once it cures after about 24 hours, it's, it's fairly rigid, but you can heat it back up and flex it around stuff. Um, this is our black dye that we're going to use by Innovative Polymer. That's just a smaller container that I have here. Take a little uh, tongue depressor. Get just a little bit of dye. You don't need an awful lot of it to create that, that super black look that we're going to get here. And, and for this project, we want to dye um, our 3025 black. So that way, when we steel wool the other side of it to show you that technique, um, it'll create a beautiful antiquing look to it. Kind of a fun project you can do with your family or the kids on the weekend. Get them involved. They'll have some fun doing it for sure. I just pour all my material in there. I'm going to feed it out to the edges. Oftentimes, if I want to create a, a really, really consistent weight or realistic weight, I'll let this surface cure and then I'll put in a bunch of weights um, just in the, the form of... Uh, 
uh, washers and then I'll pour another coat over there. We're ready to demold now. It's been about a half an hour and I'm just going to pop my edges of my silicone mold here. And this is our 40 million year old turtle fossil. And now I'm going to take some four rod steel wool and we're just going to aggressively buff this with the four rod steel wool. I, uh, I don't recommend using a more coarse steel wool, but the four rod steel wool will work just fine for you. If it's too coarse, you could scratch right into the black. Unless you're looking for that look, um, I'd stick with the four rod steel wool. The more you buff it, the better it's going to look. It's going to always take on different characteristics as you're buffing here. Um, each one that you do may look just a little bit different. And that's that's very welcomed. But you can take a hand imprint out of alginate of your of your kids or your children and uh, make a nice plaster mold or a, a bondo mold type of thing if you want. Or um, you can make a silicone mold from that and use this 3025 technique to make some uh, bronze handprints of your children. But this is, uh, this is our bronze turtle. We just buffed it with a little cloth. And this is, this is a nice little project. I hope you enjoyed all this. And uh, another application for the Innovative Polymer 3025.